Hi, my name's Nathan Ronan, and I'm the co-founder and CFA lead instructor at Chalk and Board, a CFA test prep company. I'm taking this opportunity to reach out to all CFA candidates, level one, level two, and level three globally, whether you're candidates with me in my program or not, because we've been going through some really difficult times over the past few weeks globally. And I think that it's important uh, for you to understand that as candidates, I recognize the environment that we're working in and a lot of the frustration, disappointment, and even pain that you must be experiencing you know, as candidates. Um, you know, just as a little anecdote here, uh, yesterday I had the unfortunate task of driving up to my daughter's college to pick her up. She's a senior at a university and she was very much hoping to enjoy and celebrate her graduation and I had to bring her home early. And what I witnessed on the campus, you know, students congregating, not too many, but, you know, getting together, saying goodbye to each other and sort of crying because they knew that they had worked four years for this very, very important moment in their life, their graduation. And they wanted to witness, they wanted people to witness it, their families, their friends, and they were not going to have that. And it sort of made me immediately think about all of you as candidates, because here you are level one, level two, level three, and you've been studying, most of you very aggressively for this target date in June to take an exam and hopefully go to the next level. Or if you're a level three candidate, get that charter, and then suddenly you're told, oh, the exam is postponed. Uh, we're looking for December, but we're not sure yet. Well, you know, I can imagine that disappointment, especially when you put all of this effort, just like my, my daughter and her friends have been doing for four years at college, you're putting all of this effort into the exam, and suddenly, you know, the exam is not there for you. So, um, and under the circumstances, we understand why. But I really I do feel that, you know, disappointment and frustration and wanted to empathize with you as a former CFA candidate myself. But given all of this calamity around the world of this uh, co coronavirus, what can you do? Well, the first thing that I would highly recommend to you is to basically take a real deep breath and regroup, okay? I would not recommend cramming right now and jumping on all the material as aggressively as you can. That is not really the thing to do once a crisis hits. First thing to do is to focus. So, and to remember what is your goal? Your goal is to pass your next CFA exam whenever it's administered. Now, I realize that the CFA Institute has mentioned the date of the first Saturday in December, I believe that's December 5th, but whether the exam actually happens on that date or not, and I really do hope it happens on that date, you need to use that date as your focus. Don't assume really that they're going to administer the exam, given what's going on in the world right now, before that date. And also what I would consider is, even though that date has been sort of mentioned, December 5th, it's not the CFA Institute that's going to determine whether or not the CFA exam will actually be administered on that date. It's going to be whether or not governments around the world lift the ban on congregating. And if they don't lift that ban on congregating and having meetings of 10 or more or 15 or 50 or more, then that's going to impact when the exam is given. So rather than speculating on dates and times, what you need to do is remain focused. Focus on that goal that December 5th is the next exam date, and keep in mind that you have this additional prep time, and that is truly a gift. So in this market, when things have been going down, 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 people realize that these are buying opportunities, like buy low, sell high. You should also look at, in this calamity, in this tragedy that's happening globally, there's also an opportunity for you to study more, especially if you haven't been keeping up to pace to this point in time, that you've been given additional time, which is a gift, to study more and to study more properly and correctly for the exam that hopefully will be administered in December this year. So if you are a chalk and board candidate that is currently in my program, you already received my marching orders via email. And I wanted to lay any concerns that you have about my videos. My videos are in my on-demand lectures are going to be available to you all the way up until the next exam date. So you can utilize them as you like. No problem, no additional charges or fees or anything. I would never do that to you. And also, what you also might want to know is that any of the workshops 
that you purchase with the mock exams for level one, level two, or level three, those will all be administered once the CFA Institute releases its next exam date. We will actually reschedule those workshops, those mock exams and workshops to coincide with the next exam and they will come to fruition. So don't worry about that either. I got your back. If on the other hand, you are not a candidate in my program and you are studying for the CFA exam, then I would also recommend to you to focus a lot on the CFA books, on the CFA curriculum books, now that you have the time to do so, if you haven't been doing so from, from the start. This is your opportunity to read the Bible. And in addition to that, rather than going over the same materials that you may have purchased, you probably want to think about, again, refocusing and changing the perspective that you have on studying for the exam and what to know. That's why I'm also making my on-demand lectures available to candidates who are not in my program so that they can properly prepare for this exam and that they could be best prepared in combination with the CFA curriculum books. And also you'll find that my on-demand lectures, these recordings, these, these digital, digital recordings are gonna enable you to study and be aligned with government guidelines regarding social distancing. And you'll also have complete access to me up until exam date for any questions you have, concerns, or any additional information. So we're going to, I'm gonna to continue to provide you all with you know, updates as we go along and as information becomes more available about the CFA exam. And you can also check my website at chalkandboard.org. That's C-H-A-L-K-A-N-D-B-O-A-R-D, chalkandboard.org. And in closing, I just want to wish you and your families health and safety in this very troubled time. And I hope that we will all weather this together because, ladies and gentlemen, we are going through some very strong, uncharted waters that we have never seen before. I wish you all the best. And if you'd like to reach out to me, you can always do so, and I'd be happy to speak with you. Thank you.